Installing a new floor can be a long process, but there are steps that you can take to make installation easier. On this episode of Around the House, we'll show you how to prepare your floor surface properly so installing ceramic tile provides long-lasting, professional results. This project is part of a complete bathroom renovation that includes an expansion. New subfloor was put in the expansion, but before ceramic tile can be installed. The vinyl floor in the old section of the bathroom must be ripped out so underlayment can be laid. To remove vinyl tile, you'll need a heat gun and putty knife. The heat gun will loosen the adhesive and make it easier to lift the pieces from the floor. Use your putty knife to wedge under the tiles and slowly peel them up. Use a floor scraper to remove any tile adhesive that is left stuck to the floor. Once your old floor has been removed, sweep the area clean before continuing. Next, check your floor for low spots using a level. If parts of your floor are lower than others, use a floor patch and leveler to smooth everything out. If you're changing your floor from vinyl to ceramic, you will need to add the appropriate underlayment over the subfloor before you can begin. It is a good idea to dry fit all of your underlayment pieces before securing them to the subfloor. Measure your room carefully and lay your pieces in where they fit best. Cutting underlayment to fit into certain spaces can be done several ways. For straight cuts, it's easiest to use a utility knife and straight edge to score and snap off pieces that aren't necessary. For trickier cuts, an angle grinder can be used. When all cuts are finished and you're satisfied with the dry fit, Remove the underlayment pieces and vacuum the area before moving on to the next step. In order to create a more stable surface and prevent your underlayment from flexing, which causes tiles and grout to crack, apply a layer of thin set mortar to the subfloor. A professional grade dry set mortar like Curaset by Mape is a great choice for this step. Mix the mortar according to the directions and spread it on the floor using a notch trowel. It should be combed so all trowel lines are going the same direction. This will allow the mortar to spread into any voids created when the underlayment is secured to the subfloor. When securing the underlayment to the subfloor, follow the manufacturer's recommendations. Typically nails or screws are used. Once you've finished installing your underlayment, fill the joints with the same thin set mortar that was used for the underlayment. Then apply interior seam tape using the smooth side of your notch trowel to embed the tape into the mortar. This can also be done with a margin trowel or putty knife. At this point, you'll be ready to lay your tiles. Normally, you would start from the center of the room, but because of the layout of this bathroom, the full tiles will be placed along the back and left wall while cut tiles will go along the tub and be hidden behind the toilet and vanity. For more information on installing a ceramic tile floor, stop into your local Menards and talk with a friendly team member.